Morning guys, we are at the Brandon Road lock just waiting for them to open it up. So we're just uh, near Joliet and uh, I am at the helm station right now. I'm in neutral. I am uh, running a Prestige 590S uh, upriver 2021 vessel, a beautiful brand new boat. Um, so I am going to, uh, I'm riding solo today like usual. I'm going to be going to get the uh, fenders on this uh, port side ready uh, for this lockage that's going to be on the port side of this vessel. So um, I'm going to uh, kind of have you follow along here. I'm going to try to do it one handed with the uh, either the GoPro clipped on my hat or in my hand and let's uh, see how it goes. So uh, I'm drifting right now. I'm going to throw it in neutral. Uh, I'm actually in reverse right now to kind of slow my momentum and put it back in neutral. Uh, now that the boat kind of is calming down, I'm going to come right here. This is the uh, the joystick setup that we have on this boat and I'm gonna click it into Skyhook so right now Skyhook is active you see the kind of the light swirling around to show me that it's active there's a, uh, a notification that shows up here and it's you know essentially says don't be swimming in the water while the Skyhook's active and uh, now I'm going to walk you through my steps here what I'm doing so the previous lock was on the starboard side this lock is going to be on the port side so now I need to kind of get a couple extra fenders lined up and ready so I'm going to kind of have my fender lined up just right at the uh, just maybe a little bit below the rub rail so I'm going to kind of just do a quick little tie off because these are not permanent fenders they're just uh, for the for the time being during this lock so that one's there I've got another ball fender I like the big ones here just to help with the stern swim platform so I got this set up. I'm going to kind of do a little loop here. I'm trying to do this with looking at two things at once. So there we go. So it's got a nice distance out there. It'll give us real good protection between the, uh, the lock wall and the, uh, the boat there. The swim platform always gets a potential for getting dinged up. So nice wide walk arounds on this boat. I've got these priests set up because, of course, you don't have time to, to waste if you're single-handing. So the boat's already pre-tied up. Nice uh, setup again right at the rub rail. These are my lines that I'm going to use to uh, fix to the floating bollard that I'll discuss with you as, as we get there. One more fender up at the bow. Pre-tied off. And ready to roll. So now it's nice and set up. I got all three, actually four now fenders along the side of this vessel um, it's kind of a dreary day out here it's 8 30 9 o'clock in the morning but running with nav lights just for the heck of it and keep them keep them lit up and uh, I'll come back here from the helm station when uh, we're ready when I'm ready to go so this way having it already lined up fendered I can really gently put the boat up along the wall this, this the lock wall and uh, and be ready to safely go from there so back into the vessel we'll get a little closer to the uh, to the bar lock so now I can take it out of skyhook I just come back here press skyhook it is off and uh, now I'm back on the stair. we are approaching the Brandon Road drawbridge just before the Brandon Road lock here in uh, Joliet um, the bridge has a 21 some foot clearance so we should have no problem uh, to clear it, but I did come up to the Flybridge Helm Station. Uh, this is a sport Flybridge up here. Uh, to give us a little more visibility just to make sure we, uh, I'll look back. I'll make sure our clearance with the bridge is good to go on that and uh, you know follow along here. So obviously if you're looking at the bridge, I'm seeing that these two nav lights are lower than the, the rest of the boat. So um, I'll try to, or the rest of the bridge that is, so I'll try to jog in between them if I need. And with this vessel, I've got the joystick capabilities. It goes right to the joystick, so now I can control it from here. Give me a better view of what uh, what we're looking at. That makes me feel better for the first one there. Now, let's focus back to, uh, to getting us to where we need to be. So, if you look up at the wall there, I've got two guys, both in bright yellow. Um, my vessel will go to the forward floater. 
the second vessel behind me will go to the next one so we will uh, slowly approach and from here once I get the boat nice and close to the seawall I'll slowly walk down the stairs safely and get over to uh, to where I need to be tie the boat up to the floater and we're good to go I'm back in neutral, just letting the boat drift a bit here. Just kind of in and out clicks at this point. We're just going to go nice and slow. I'm going to turn on my bow thruster just in case we need it. I'm going to reverse the port engine to kind of straighten, I'm sorry, the starboard engine to kind of straighten the boat out a little bit. And now I can take the joystick, just right to the joystick, straighten the boat out. So now I can kind of be off to the side. I can look down the bow of the boat, the side of the boat here. I'm slowly pulling the boat over to the wall as I'm pulling the boat, the joystick, it's slowly pulling the boat and I can twist to give me a proper uh, approach to make sure I'm nice and flush with the, the, the sea wall. And I look over, the boat's pretty flush with the sea wall, nice and calm now. Slow down, slow the pace, and that's right where I need that bollard to be. I just want to... Got another couple inches. I actually need the bollard to be a little bit backwards, so I'm going to back it up. Inch the boat a little closer, a couple more inches, perfect. Really step down right over get this fender in the right spot now that I got the bollard uh, affixed I can kind of tug the boat backwards nice and easy my forward fender is working great up there fix as tight as I can get the boat less room for rocking around and we are good to go all set sir so again my fenders are all properly lined along the edge of the boat so that nothing is I'm worried about banging into anything along this big metal and cement wall that's of course a big no-no so everything looks beautiful to me. We're all set there and the rest. Other boats ready to go. So the lock gates will start to close and we'll go on up. <laughs> 